Tarzan of the Apes, from the novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs, with Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan, and Miss Joanne Burroughs as Jane Porter. This is an American Gold Seal production, released by the World Broadcasting System and Associated Stations. After Tarzan has rescued the white party from the cannibals, Clayton tries to shoot him. Unable to understand that Clayton's fever delirium caused this, Tarzan leaves the white to return to the jungle. Unknown to him, the mutineers have returned and plan to attack the party at the cabin. Tarzan returns to the council circle of the apes to find his kingship challenged by Takla of Bull Ape. The Bull Ape charges at Tarzan, murder in his eye. Now, are you ready? Hold your breath. At Takla's roar, Tarzan whips about. Quickly, the ape man's hand flashes with a knife in his belt. Takla sees the movement, hesitates, but only for a moment. With long, hairy arms reaching and gleaming, dripping fangs bared, the great bull ape lunges forward. Tarzan commands Takla to go back. Takla blinks his teeth, reddened eyes, and with another challenging roar, draws closer. Tarzan leaps to one side. Takla turns, and again Tarzan leaps. No, the ape man is behind Takla. Tarzan springs as the hairy brute turns. Tarzan lands on Takla's back. The ape man's arm slips under Takla's fore and up behind the thick bull neck. Tarzan grips the coarse, bristling hairs. The rippling muscles swell as he starts to force the brute's head down. with pain. Tarzan forces the ape's head lower. 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 Takla sinks to his knees. With a roar, Takla throws himself to the ground. He tries to roll over to pin Tarzan to the ground. But Tarzan's too strong for him. He braces his knees in Takla's back. Once again, the ape man tenses his muscles, forces Takla's head lower. Yes, the ape grunts. Quickly, Tarzan jumps clear. Takla rolls to his back. And before he can make a move, Tarzan launches himself out of the brute's chest. Takla blinks his eyes and looks at the gleaming point of the knife held at his throat. Uh, Gordon! Tarzan asks Takla if he will surrender. But Takla only grunts in reply. Tarzan presses the hunting knife farther into the thick, coarse hairs of the brute's throat. <laughs> Takla screams as he feels the sharp point of the blade at his throat. Uh, Again, Tarzan asks Takla to surrender. Tarzan, come and get it! You cut that fool up! I am Tarzan, king of the apes, mighty hunter, mighty fighter. In all the jungle there is none so great. You, Takla, have surrendered to me. All the tribe has heard. Fight no more with your people or with me, for the next time I will kill you. Tarzan springs to his feet. With the shout of the claim of the apes ringing in his ears, the ape man grasps the low hanging limb and disappears into the trees. Meanwhile, a short distance from the river, Clayton and Philander are returning through the jungle to the cabin in the clearing. Not much luck shooting, eh, Clayton? No, Philander. With all this expanse of jungle, not a blessed thing to shoot at that we could eat. Possibly if we go out later this evening. We can try the river, eh? Almost sure to be something there. Well, we're not far from there now. We might go down and try. Say, look there. What? Looks to me like a camp. What? I believe you're right. Let's investigate. Take it easy. We don't know who they are or what we're getting into. No. No, but they're probably the party who left the boat march on the beach. Well, the place looks pretty deserted. Yes. Yes, but the fire hasn't been out for very long. By Jove, look out there into the cove. The arrow. Our ship. Our ship. Then, man alive. The mutineer. Chain. Porter. Alone at the hut. Come, Philander. Hurry. Hurry, Philander. While Clayton and Philander have been hunting, Jane has been caring for fever-ridden Professor Porter at the hut. Jane. Jane, my dear. What is it, Daddy? Are you feeling better now? Uh, yes, dear. A great deal. The treatment given me by Lieutenant Darno last night seems to have worked wonders on me. Oh, that's fine. 
In no time at all, you'll be the fittest one of us all. How is the Clayton getting along? Well, he seems to have improved a great deal in health. I don't like to give you advice, my dear. No, Daddy. But you've always let me run my own affairs. Uh, uh, what I was about to say, however, is I have noticed a certain coolness between you and Clayton lately. Well, don't you bother your head about it. Uh, but I must say, it concerns the welfare of all of us to be on good terms with one another. Yes, none of us can afford to be unsociable. Uh, not only that, my dear, but Clayton is one of the English nobility. It might be just as well to keep him his good graces. But he's been so, so insulting about Tarzan that I, that I couldn't help but show uh, my feelings. After all, Jane, despite the fact that Tarzan is a noble fellow and all that, he is really just an untutored savage. A savage. Yes, a savage who has saved us all from death. Not once, but many times. And Cecil especially. Uh, yes, yes, dear. Uh, it is sometimes difficult to understand Cecil's mood. Still, we should all make allowances. Perhaps we might keep on the good side of Darno, too. He is of the French Navy, you know. Now, now, Jane, you're, you're chiding me. <laughs> but you know as well as I do that it is it sometimes pays to have, if you will allow the expression, a friend of course. Oh, never mind, Daddy. I know what you're getting at. But Cecil makes me so angry with his constant slurs against Tarzan. Uh, yes, 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 dear. Uh, by the way, uh, where are the others? Well, Cecil and Mr. Philander went off to shoot something to eat. Francois went for water, and Dardo, I believe, has gone off to the headland. To the headland? What for? To make a beacon, I suppose, in case another ship should pass before the cruiser returns. Uh, what did Dardo and Cecil decide about those uh, boat marks upon the sand at the beach? We can't imagine, Daddy. The marks, together with the footprints, which Dardo said were not made by sailors' shoes, and the ransacking of the cabin are a puzzle we haven't solved. Uh, yes, yes, I know. Uh, but the marks were old, I think. Uh, it may be some ship put in here for water while we were at the uh, cannibal village. Well, I, for one, am heartily sorry we failed to arrive at the same time as the ship, no matter what sort of a ship it might have been. Water, yes, yes, water. Uh, that was probably what they wanted. Oh, I, I think one of the others must be returning. Wait a minute, I'll go and look. Oh! Uh, what is it, Jane? Oh, no. Ain't no use trying to close the door. Daddy, Daddy, the gun. Quickly. Hold that. Uh, I can move to get that gun, and I'll drop you where you stand. Come on, King. I'll come right in. Better if I close the door, eh? Right up. What do you want? What's the meaning of this? You'll find out soon enough, Governor. Cause, watch the old gent. I'll look after the lady. <laughs> I as a tyke and why with a light as I am. If the others come back and find you here tonight, they'll kill you. Now you've had your little sigh. I'll do the talking for a chime. Where did you hide that blast of treasure? We've never seen the treasure. You know as well as I do tonight that I threw that chart overboard. What happened after that, we don't know. Yes, I know all about that. Try if you brought the chart back. We found the treasure. You found it? You see, my dear, I was brought up. Can't put that stuff over on me. What we want to know is, where did you hide it? I tell you, we've never seen it. You said you found yes. it. And who moved it? I don't know. How about you, Professor? Don't suppose you'd know? Uh, no, no, I, I've never seen it. Hey, now, anybody asked you if you'd seen it? All we want to know is, where is it now? Oh, how often do I have to tell you we know nothing about it? Now, now, don't put on them high and mighty airs with me. Ah, come on, Snipes. We're just wasting time. Let's take him along with us. That way you got time to work on this. Yes, that's the ticket, all right. The mothers is liable to come in here any minute. Right, old mate. So long as they ain't going to act the way we want them to. Come on there, Professor. Get up. Oh, no, I can't do that. My father's almost dead with fever. He'll live long enough for us to find out what we want to know. Now, you listen to me. If you think that my father knows where that treasure is buried, taking him out and torturing him isn't going to help you any. He'll just die. Oh, uh, what? You're talking to the old ghost anyway, Snipes. I wouldn't give a soldier for his chances on the well, Listen to me now, you swab. I want that loot. I don't care whether the old fool dies or not. I mean to have that treasure. All right, all right. Well, then, let's take the dame. Hold her as hostage. Then the old bird will kick through. No, that's an idea. Come along, my pretty. I won't. Oh, no, won't you, though? I got these two. I'm you. Cover a pipe there. Now, you, you, you. Let's push him off. You 
Clayton and Philander, or Darno hear those shots? Will Tarzan and the jungle hear them?